Welcome to Vision on TV. This is the Breaking Tech Show, and we're at the Open Technology Conference in London. And I'm speaking to Harry Wood about the OpenStreetMap project. Yep. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Yep. OpenStreetMap.org. OpenStreetMap.org is the website. And, mm -hmm. uh, if you go there, you'll see a, a map. Uh, it looks a bit like Google Maps. Um, and uh, in my talk today, I was explaining that uh, a lot of people will kind of jump to the conclusion that it's really just uh, an open source competitor to Google Maps. But but actually a better description of this is uh, the Wikipedia of maps. Mm -hmm. So it's an editable map um, and we have uh, getting on for 400,000 registered users who are around the world contributing to the map. Uh, building it from scratch and then releasing the map with a, an open content license. Why do we need a Wikipedia of maps? What's wrong with Google Maps? Well, Google Maps is uh, pretty good for car navigation, uh, not so good for pedestrian navigation in general, we're missing quite a lot of details in a lot of areas. In fact, if you look at uh, Google Maps in London, you'll see um, missing parks, for example, and, uh, and sometimes even miss missing railway stations. Um, so that's all maps that are presented to us and we have to live with what we've got. Um, and and that's kind of the way we're used to consuming maps. But with OpenStreetMap, it's different. We can we can contribute to the map. We can make the map better. Add in all of the details that really interest us in our area and our day-to-day -day lives. And so, in all the areas that we really care about, we can make the map look really beautiful. Like public urinals. Um, we, can, we can put toilets on. Yeah. Um, Vegan restaurants, that kind of thing. Exactly. All yeah. those kind of special interest things. Yeah. You can, you can <laughs> Add that stuff into OpenStreetMap. Um, so it's basically a, a process whereby um, the average person can add data to it and it becomes a increasingly detailed, multi-layered map app. Is it a map app? Well, uh, there's um, mobile use uh, or app use of uh, OpenStreetMap, certainly. Uh, many different map apps using OpenStreetMap. Um, you can do the, the Google-style thing of embedding the OpenStreetMap in your own website. So taking the JavaScript and, uh, and displaying the map tiles uh, on your own website. Um, lots of mobile apps. Um, and, and all those kind of usage are the kind of uses that we're used to now. Um, we're used to seeing Google Maps presented in different places. Um, so OpenStreetMap can do the same. But the real power with OpenStreetMap is that it's uh, released with an open content license at mm -hmm. the data level as well. Right. So the raw data that makes up the map is available for use and reuse, redistribution. But so, how, I mean, does that, does that have applications? What are some of the applications? You've said it's better for pedestrians. Um, does it apply to activism? Is it something that can... Well, sure. I mean, you mentioned uh, vegan restaurants, for example. Yep. Um, that what we have is a very flexible tagging scheme within OpenStreetMap. So there will be a tag there for uh, vegan restaurants. Um, and some people will be out there adding vegan restaurants to OpenStreetMap and very enthusiastically adding uh, the right tags to describe it um, and different dietary requirements, all this sort of thing. Yeah. Lots of rich detail there um, and it is a very flexible system where kind of special interest groups can um, invent their own tagging schemes for putting the Can they invade in. it? Can it be taken over by special interest groups? Can they put up I inaccurate information? Well, pretty, it, pretty, information. Much, pretty much you can, uh, you can invade it and add, add whatever information you like as long as it's information which is representing the real world. So we are, are mapping the real that? world, we yeah. are mapping the real vegan restaurants, not fake vegan restaurants, right. for example. <laughs> um, and how are we checking that? Well, we're following, yeah. we're following the wiki process of allowing anyone to do anything so you can add junk data in there. You can do vandalism uh, and break the map, but we put the tools into the hands of all of the users to detect those uh, actions of other users and to fix the problems very quickly. Okay, so, so, so it's following that wiki process. Very this much following the wiki process and, and, and kind of relying on, um, on human spirits and uh, as it turns out you can rely on this. It's kind of uh, something that's often said of Wikipedia that it, it works in practice but not in theory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's working by doing rather than just kind of thinking about it. Working by doing and actually relying on more people wanting to help and to contribute than, than the, the bad apples. Um, you've said it's being run out of a cupboard somewhere in London. Yeah, <laughs> That's right, yep. In, yep. In are you in that cupboard with it or are there some other volunteers involved? There's, uh, there's a lot of volunteers based here in London, um, a couple of whom have access to the cupboard. Right. <laughs> uh, sys admins, and they're very, very dedicated people who uh, the project absolutely relies upon. Mm -hmm. um, and they will go in there and tinker with the servers and also um, do things like uh, deciding what software gets deployed onto the servers and that kind of thing. Okay. All done on a voluntary basis at the moment. With the Public the, service. The OpenStreetMap um, Foundation, the kind of organisation that oversees OpenStreetMap 
hasn't uh, hired any people to work for OpenStream Lab yet. Um, but you're planning to possibly? Poss possibly it may extend to that point. It's kind of nice that they haven't at the moment, I think, because uh, it means that we don't actually um, turn around much money if for any reason. There's, there's no money changing hands, it's all volunteer-based. Volunteer um, but we do have kind of administration limitations because we don't have staff yet. It would be nice to expand. Indeed. Is it just London, this map? Is it UK? Absolutely not. Bigger? It's worldwide. 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 Um, so because of, because of the same wiki process couldn't work anywhere, um, we can map um, Birmingham or Bangkok. Anywhere. Or, and, and it has been used um, in humanitarian situations as well. So the slums of Nairobi have been mapped on OpenStreetMap. Excellent. And, uh, and if people want more information, where do they find it? Well, go to openstreetmap.org, check out the map, and on, on the homepage there is a documentation link. In fact, it's not just documentation on the documentation link, it's a whole uh, wiki full of information, um, including welcoming people to the community in different parts of the world. Find out okay. everything you need to know on the, on the wiki there. Thank you so much. You're on Vision, on Vision on TV. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.